How can we measure the distance between two points, A and B, on a map using a bar scale? Well, first we'll need to find a good ruler. We use a metric ruler because it's just easier to use when we want to collect useful quantitative information that we can use to calculate things. We need to measure the map length of the bar scale that's printed on the map to determine the number of centimeters on the map that represents one kilometer or 1,000 meters of horizontal distance in the field across the landscape. Be as accurate as you can in placing the zero line of the ruler on the zero edge on the left side of the bar scale. This bar scale is 10 centimeters long on the map representing one kilometer of horizontal distance in the field across the landscape. Now we do the same thing to measure the map distance between points A and B. Carefully place the ruler and read the map distance between A and B. It's 12.5 centimeters. Now we have all the data we need to solve the problem. It helps to organize the data, especially while we're learning how to solve a problem. To visualize how these data are related to each other, I've made a table that has separate vertical columns for map distances expressed in centimeters and field distances measured horizontally across the landscape and expressed in kilometers. We have two horizontal rows, one for the map and field distances from A to B, and the other for the map length of the bar scale and the field distance it represents. Now we'll insert the data values we know, either because we measured them or because it was printed on the map. And what remains is the unknown value that constitutes the solution to our problem. We'll refer to the unknown value using the variable name x and organize the data values into ratios. The ratio of 12.5 centimeters to 10 centimeters is the same as the ratio of our unknown value expressed in kilometers to one kilometer. This is a proportion problem, and we can solve it the same way you solve proportion problems in grade school, although that sort of thing is easy to forget, I know. We're going to cross multiply, and then rearrange the equations to isolate the unknown quantity. If you need a refresher on proportions and cross products, I suggest you navigate on the web to the Khan Academy, that's K-H-A-N Academy, and search on the words proportions and cross products. So what is the horizontal distance between points A and B in this instance? A and B are separated by a horizontal distance of 1.25 kilometers in the field. To summarize, when you have a problem of this type, the horizontal distance between two points in the field is equal to the ratio of two measurements on the map, multiplied by the field distance represented by the bar scale, which will be printed on the map. It's a good idea to be able to derive this equation, but you can also just write it into your field notebook or inside the cover of your lab manual for future reference.